sauce today. Um, if you follow us on Instagram, you will know that I did Blackout Tuesday. Uh, so I didn't upload anything on Tuesday. And I spent the day trying to educate myself. I read so much. Um, literally everything I could read, I read. And I would like to say it has opened my eyes. It certainly has. I do feel more educated. Will I ever fully understand? No. I can't. I can't because of who I am and where I come from and the privileges that I've had in my life. I can't ever fully understand what black people go through every day. I can try my hardest to understand. I can try my hardest to educate myself and I will educate my children because the next generation has to be different. The world can't go on like this because the world will burn. It's just not right. It's not right at all. Um, it's a very emotive subject, very emotive. And I did share quite a bit on Instagram. Well, not loads. I didn't share anywhere near as much as some other accounts shared. But for my little account, I shared, you know, what touched me the most what i thought would help families the most and i did share but i just wanted to put that out there just in case um any of you wasn't aware of why i didn't do anything on tuesday or if obviously you're not on social media and you just watch this this is what i was doing and that's why i did it so wednesday here for us i'm just having breakfast mm, some good old brum flakes and oh, i'm watching Netflix. I've watched far too much Netflix. <laughs> it's unbelievable. <laughs> Got to stop. I'm just it's just because it just keeps rolling. But I just keep it on in the background. I've already edited for today. Um I've got a few other things to do on the laptop today and the kids are all sat. Seth, have you drank all that water? Yeah. Right. Why don't you fill it back up with water then? No. So Seth had cucumber water today. Seth loves cucumber. Cucumber easy the idea from me. The idea from Grace. Ruben, mine's in the, mine isn't working. Yeah, so Grace had strawberries and raspberries yeah. in her water yesterday. Ruben's got some raspberry. Did you have strawberries and raspberry water? No, I just had strawberries and everything in the freezer. Okay, and then Ruben's got raspberries in his water and Seth has got cucumbers in his water because Grace has had cucumbers today rather than. Elijah is trying to finish off a bottle of juice so that he can fill that with water and... What are you having, Elijah? Cucumber or strawberries or raspberries? Raspberries. Raspberries. No, the grapes won't really make it taste very much. You need the strawberries. What we can do though, guys, is we'll start using the frozen we'll start using the frozen fruits in your water rather than the fresh fruit because it'll add it'll be like an ice cube. Uh, I don't know if you can actually buy frozen cucumbers. You can have fresh cucumbers, that's fine. But fresh strawberries are very expensive. And although I don't mind you having flavoured water, we've got frozen strawberries which will work just as well. So yeah, so that is basically what I've been doing. Um, and today is obviously school work day and they're just getting through. I want to thank everyone everybody that commented on my instagram and got in touch with me regarding homeschool because i am new to all of this i want the best for my children we are very achievement or in like led i don't know how to work that properly like i want my children to do very well and i know that education is different in lots of forms like some children are more artistic some children are more hands-on sporty not everybody's academic as such but we like very much need to push the academic side of it because in the uk especially you cannot really get onto any college courses you cannot really apply for many apprenticeships or any kind of work without qualifications um lots of homeschoolers don't necessarily aim to do exams so i've been talking to a few people that live in scotland and theirs is a little bit different they don't like sit sats and stuff like that um a lot of homeschoolers don't actually even teach from the english curriculum they use the american curriculum and they'll aim for their children at about 18 to do some american qualifications which we did look into because um some of the qualifications that adam has 
he can't use in America, but whereas the American qualifications can be used all over the world, they're a little bit more widely recognised. So I've been looking at lots of things regarding homeschooling and whether we continue to homeschool or not. Um, but we are quite big pushers for the ac academic side of homeschooling. Yes, we, as a family, we still push sports. You know, all of our kids are in clubs, um, taekwondo and gymnastics. We like to get out and bike rides, walks. As you can see, you do obviously follow us. We do like to be quite sporty. Eh? Well, I like my kids to be sporty, eh? not myself so much. <laughs> I kind of lost the sportiness kind of side of myself. I used to be sporty when I was younger. I'm just lazy now. Anyway, so, and we do love art as well, but we do really push for the academic side of it. And at the moment, our kids are quite responsive to it to a degree. Elijah is very intelligent. And I think he's more, he's so intelligent that he just knows how to play me. And he gets really bored. So I've started trying to give him a lot more difficult tasks to stimulate his brain a little bit more which seems to be working although today he's not doing a difficult task today he's just doing handwriting boring handwriting because his handwriting as a boy is terrible so that's what we're working on today with him grace is working through some booklets that the school sent home that just covers everything that she needed to know she passed her sats that she didn't take so we have been following like the the school curriculum that they've sent down but we've gone back to doing the sats books just because i want to make sure she's completed them and she's flying through that reuben get on it's been time you're in a timer remember you meant to be reuben's doing non-verbal reasoning today oh, but he finds that quite easy so he's flying through that but he's gonna do some english comprehension later as well and that's our day i hope you're all well adam is on site today i'm hoping he's not going to be late because he's only in coventry so that's not that far away from us and the weather is rubbish <laughs> the weather has turned it is rare raining here but oh well yeah never mind we'll have a cozy day indoors do our work watch some tv you know do a little bit of housework i'm actually quite up to date with my housework shocking for me actually quite shocking so yeah i'm gonna get on and eat my breakfast Right, it's so good. Ruben's decided to make himself a smoothie and Grace has decided to make himself a milkshake. That'll do. You stick. You have a look. Wait. Oh my god, you know. Well, don't put it in It really doesn't matter, Grace. Have you not seen how it gets whizzed up? And I am having some pasta. I feel really hungry today. I haven't, I think it's because it's so much cooler today. I haven't really felt that hungry in the warm weather. But um, not loads and loads. But now that it's cooled right down today, I feel really, really hungry. I'm actually just changing my saucepan onto a bigger half. That's a lot of ice cream oh, uh, Seth and Elijah both had cheese wraps that Grace very kindly made for them she's sleeping I cut oh um, I did tell you all that I l -l 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 brought the nail cutters I did cut her nails well no I cut about three of her nails yesterday they're really like they're really tough to cut I don't really know what's going on there um but she's not bothered by it she's a little bit like why are you playing with my foot why are you playing with my foot why are you playing with my foot but she's not bothered by the nail cutting part at all so i kind of need adam to help me i think but he's like no take it to the vets and i'm like i'm not going to the vets you take it to the vets and he's like i'm not going to the vets so, a little bit of a standoff at the moment <laughs> dinner time already i'm going to do a shepherd's pie tonight i think yeah i am um the kids are not the biggest fan of shepherd's pie but i fancy it i don't fancy it i've got some mints that i've got to use <laughs> and I'm so fed up with like tomato based stuff like pasta bake or spaghetti bolognese or lasagna do you know when it's like just really tomato food i'm just a bit fed up with that so i'm just gonna make a nice shepherd's pie plus it's quite chilly so um 
it will make it feel nice and cosy. Which I like. I might light a candle as well. Adam is on his way home. So he shouldn't be too long, hopefully. And the kids are playing hide yeah. and seek as they do. Right, I know you hate So I'm gonna burn a berry trifle. Which makes me happy. Oh, yeah. Yeah. yeah, so I'm just gonna get on from a mince off and add my veggies and stuff. I make my sauce and then yeah. boil some potatoes. It's okay. actually quite a lot of effort, isn't it? Yeah. Shepherd's pie. Gonna... So that's gonna build a little potato. So I'm just I'm just mashing my potatoes ready to go on top. But Grace has decided to open up a salon and he's uh colouring Elijah's hair red. It's very red. <laughs> well done Grace. Yeah, don't touch my chair, son. All done and dished up. They've all got a token broccoli and the little boys eat broccoli. <laughs> but you know, forever putting it on their plates in the hopes they'll eat it one day. Dinner was lovely. I enjoyed mine, I was quite full there. Adam, you enjoyed yours, didn't you? I enjoyed mine, I realise. Good. I enjoyed mine. Good. Yeah, the kids ate quite well actually. Little boys, not as great as I wanted them to, but it wasn't like terrible. Um, me and Adam were just discussing how cold it's gone. Like, it's not cold, but it's really chilly. And Adam was like, oh, it's quite nice. But then we'd both much rather the heat. <laughs> because it is, um, I don't know. I think I could actually put a blanket over me. And feel quite happy about having a blanket over me. <laughs> so, but yeah, it's a little bit. There's a ch definitely a chill in the air. But it will certainly help sleeping though. Because I won't be so hot. Oh, excuse me. Oh. Yeah, it's going to start the weather. I don't know why I tell you about the weather so much. It's just, I quite like talking about it. Um, It's going to stay a bit gloomy for the next week, I think. It's typical, isn't it? Because, and I'll tell you what it is. It's because the kids started to go back to school. Lock the schools back down again. And shut them back down. The weather will be nice again. Guaranteed. Don't know why. But it's always because of the school run. Guaranteed it'll start raining at half eight every morning again. And it'll rain at about three to half three every single day. Guaranteed. <laughs> it's just the weather just knows, doesn't it? Uh, but nearly time. Adam, I don't know what he's doing. He's still working. It's very boring. He's scanning paperwork in. Um... But it's getting close to that time where I have to send the children to bed. So, story and bed. Wow, well, showers, a story in bed. That's the plan. We'll settle down for the night. Are you nearly finished scanning? No. No. It's freezing with that back door open. Put your jumper on. Put your jumper on.